Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. I am a 44 year old single person currently living in the Northern Virginia area. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for stopping back by. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to go over my bi-weekly zero base budget. And this is going to be for September 6th through the 19th. Today is actually September the 5th, so it is Thursday. And I'm filming this at 3.40 in the morning. My cat was meowing and woke me up and I decided I would go ahead and get up, grab some coffee and do some budgeting. So let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing on my budget, of course, is my income. Now I am a single person. I live in Northern Virginia and my biweekly uh, salary income is $1,700. So moving on to my fixed expenses. The first expense is rent. Now I do rent a basement apartment um, in somebody's home. So my rent is $900 monthly. But to make it a little bit easier for me to pay, I put aside $450 every time I get paid. So rent is $450. Now my rent is all inclusive. So I don't pay any kind of utilities, but I also don't have cable. So in my next check, um, which would be September the 20th, I'll have my streaming services that'll come due. Next is my debt payment. And my debt payment is $472.69. So I am following the Dave Ramsey baby steps and I am currently um, paying off these three debts here, which I'll get into here in just a minute. I'll break that down for you. So this debt payment is the minimum biweekly payment um, that I pay every two weeks. The next expense is dentist. I went to the dentist yesterday. No, Tuesday. It was Tuesday. And while I was there, I was told when I was checking out that I had a balance of $456.94. I don't know if you guys can read that. I had some dental work done at the beginning of the year before I started my debt-free journey. And I guess my insurance just came back and paid. And what was due is this $456.94. Now, the lady, the office manager said that if I were to pay half, then they would write off the rest because I had paid everything that I believed to be my portion up front before I even had this procedure done um, at the first of the year. And so I am actually going to pay the $228.47 this time. And um, that was completely unexpected. I, I think it might have even kept me up a little bit um, last night. I, I had a hard time sleeping. New... New unexpected costs really stress me out because I don't have a lot of wiggle room in my budget right now. So two twenty eight forty seven for the dentist. So adding my fixed expenses two twenty eight forty seven the four seventy two sixty nine and four fifty. Let's add that up. Two sixty nine, and then two twenty eight forty seven is one thousand one hundred fifty one dollars and sixteen cents in fixed expenses. All right, so let's move on to my debt breakdown. So I've been doing this for a little while now, where you know the three remaining debts that I have, I tell you what my beginning balance is, what my minimum payment is, and my ending balance. And somebody had asked, and I maybe I should mention this each time, somebody asked in my my last video, 
you know, well, that really isn't your ending balance because you forgot interest. And I did not forget interest. I actually, these are old debts that have been hanging around for a really long time. And these have been sold to a third party. I do not have any interest on these debts. So when I make a minimum payment, um, everything is going to the um, the principal. I don't have anything, you know, any interest that's being um, that's being accumulated. So um, again, these are old debts. These are sold. I've had these for a long time, and uh, every penny that I make in payments is going towards the balance. All right, so my first debt is um, the auto, and this was a, a car that was, I was in an accident, it was a complete loss, and I was paying off the difference between what insurance paid and what was owed on the car. I settled this debt back in June, I think it was June, maybe it was May. Um, heck, I don't even know, I don't even know why I'm guesstimating. I settled this debt and it be, it was at 10,000 I think 800 and I um, I settled it for about 50 percent so this 44 83 42 that's minimum the beginning balance is what I had currently owed now my minimum payment for this loan is 207.69. So taking the beginning balance of 448342 and subtract 20769, my ending balance is 472573. 27573. My next debt is a credit card, and the minimum payment on this debt is $165. And these are bi-weekly payments. This is not a monthly payment. I made payment arrangements on all of these, and these are the minimum payments. All right, so 165 is 11310 is my ending balance on the credit card. Uh, last is the personal loan. The minimum biweekly payment on this one is $100. So the ending balance is $13,800. And let's just add this up here. So we know the minimum payment is the $472.69. All right, so let's take my beginning balance, which I'm really excited I'm under $30,000. That's pretty exciting. So $29,857.42 minus $472.69 is an ending balance of $29,384.73. So that is not bad. If you guys remember when I started my debt-free journey in... January, my my total debt was in excess of $55,000, so it was a lot. So I've come a long way. All right, let's move on to cash expenses. The first expense is carpool, and I'm going to set aside $25 for carpool. I'm actually driving next week, and... Um, I think at least one of the ladies is out one or two days next week, so I want to have a little bit of a buffer in my carpool envelope. If I don't end up needing it, I can always put it in my savings envelope later. Next is gas, and gas I'm going to do 20 since I'm driving. Food is 120 Donations is going to be ten dollars. Personal spending is forty. Fur babies, and this is for their food. I've got a kitty and a puppy that are spoiled rotten. So this fur babies, um, 
category is for dry food, wet food, treats, toys, and cat litter. And that is going to get $50. And I have actually been reducing the amount of wet food that I give to my kitty. Because she was getting wet food twice a day, every day. And I have reduced it down to one time per day. Which is... Um, which is better because I, I bought a, it was a 12 pack of Fancy Feast last week and I still have, I still have quite a bit left. So that's good. Wet food is so expensive. All right, moving on to sinking funds. Um, car maintenance is going to get $60. Car insurance will get 50. Car taxes and tags is gonna get 10. Fur babies, again, this is for their shots and vet visits. That will get $20. Renter's insurance will get $10. Clothes will also get $10. Beauty is $10. Gifts is $20. Medical, dental, and vision is going to get 20. Vacation is 40. Christmas is 20. YouTube is 10. And savings for this time is actually going to be zero. All right, so I, I realized I missed my, my totals up here. So cash expenses, the total is $265. My total sinking funds is $280. All right, so taking my income of $1,700, subtracting my fixed expenses, 11, 51, 16 minus cash expenses of 265 leaves me 283.84. And so that is the amount of my sinking funds. So $3.84 is what I have left over and I'm just gonna let that hang out on my checking account. I'm not gonna take out change. Okay, so I know for me, it's a little scary to not have any wiggle room in my budget at all. But, and you might ask like, well, why aren't you using your medical sinking fund for this bill? Well, my medical sinking fund, I think only has $60 in it. Maybe this 20 will make it 80. And I, I would rather beef this up a little bit, um, than to, I, I don't know, it's very stressful for me. I have the wiggle room in my, in my budget to go ahead and make this payment and not touch my sinking funds. So to me, it seems like the better option um, than to, I would have to zero out my medical fund because there's not enough in there to cover that. Then also to cover the dentist, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? What would you do? Would you pay this with what was remaining in your check or would you zero out your medical fund and then still take money out of your paycheck? I don't know what the right thing is to do. This just seems like it should be the right thing. So that's what I'm going to do, I think. All right. So down at the bottom here, I've been keeping up with my total sinking funds. So I've got my current sinking funds when I went through my book and added it all up. I had five, uh, 1509. So $1,509 is my, um, how much I have in my sinking funds. When I take this 280, whoops. So 1509. And when I add the 280 that I'll be putting into my sinking funds will give me an ending balance of 1789 in my sinking funds. Now, I already have an emergency fund, and I don't have, didn't, I just kind of ran out of room on the page, but I 
am following the Dave Ramsey baby steps. And so I had completed baby step one before I even started filming videos. So like in December of last year, maybe January, I had already saved a thousand dollars. Um, and the reason why I have this savings envelope is because my car is, I, th I don't know, I believe it's acting up and I kind of have a feeling that either I'm going to have a significant repair um, or I may have to replace the car in the next year and I just want to beef my savings up a little bit. All right, guys, that's it. Um, that is my bi-weekly budget for September 6th through the 19th. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.